Here's an interesting question where you need to find the missing number. You're presented with the set of numbers 4, 9, 20, 8, 5, 14, 10, 3, and then comes the missing number. You need to select or calculate the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 4. Choice B, 11. Choice C, 13. And choice D, 34. Take a close look at this 3x3 three three matrix to see if you can come up with the solution. I hope by now you have a good understanding of the problem and maybe pause this video trying to solve it because on my end I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. And the pattern here is that the manipulation with the left and the middle number calculate right columns number. Basically, in each row, the third number is the sum of half of the first number and two times the second number. Let's look at the specific calculations. The first row has numbers 4, 9, and 20. 4 divided by 2 plus 9 multiplied by 2 equals 2 plus 18 and equals 20, which is exactly the number in the third column. Second row contains numbers 8, 5, and 14. 8 divided by 2 plus 5 multiplied by 2 equals 4 plus 10 and equals 14. And now we are ready to calculate the missing number. 10 divided by 2 plus 3 multiplied by 2 equals 5 plus 6 and equals 11. So the correct choice here is choice B, 11. Do you have a better answer? Please make sure to share your thoughts and rationale in comments. Hi there, this is Vadim. And in this video, I would like to get you ready for the employment assessment test. As you might be well aware, organizations nowadays would like to make sure that they hire the most qualified candidate. This is why they use pre-employment hiring exam to make sure a candidate is prepared to succeed on the job. There are various assessment test questions employers use based on the job candidate might be applying for. The examples are IQ and aptitude questions, logical reasoning questions, math reasoning, numerical reasoning, analytical skills questions, and a lot of others. In this video, I am going to share with you some examples of the questions we frequently see on the test. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's a tricky problem which you might find challenging to solve. You're presented with three images and you need to find the missing number. All three images have berms and evergreen trees on top of the berms. First two of the images have numbers 15 and 50 at the bottom. And the third image is missing the number and instead has a question mark, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 74. Choice B, 98. Choice C, 109. And last but not least, choice D, 117. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have calculated, the correct answer here is choice D, 117. Let's take a close look why. If you take a close look at the images, you will see that each image contains trees. Each tree contains a certain number of branches and trees are placed on the berms. The pattern is calculated as number of trees multiplied by number of branches on the trees and you incrementally add the number of berms to calculate the number at the bottom. Let's look closely at each one of the images. First image has two trees with seven branches and one berm and the calculation would be two multiplied in parentheses three plus four plus one which would be an equivalent of 14 plus 1 equals 15. Second image has four trees with 12 branches and two berms. And the calculations will be 4 multiplied in parentheses 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2. And then you add 2 to the calculated value. The end result of this calculation for image 2 will be 50. For the third image, which has 6 trees with 19 branches and 3 berms, the calculations will be 6 multiplied 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 and then you add 3 to the calculated total. The end result of it 117. 
Do you have a better solution to solve this challenge? Please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. I have a surprise for you. You need to solve the expression and find the missing number. You have three full expressions. Glove plus glove equals 20. Glove plus two socks equals 38. Glove plus sock plus hat equals 39. And the last expression where you need to calculate the missing number is hat multiplied by sock plus glove equals the missing number. So what is the missing number? You need to calculate and select out of four different choices. Choice A, 135. Choice B, 220. Choice C, 165. And choice D, 360. Do you know the answer? Once you calculate it, please make sure to post it in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here is the famous four square triangle question that you frequently see on the test. You are presented with four triangles. In each triangle, there is a smaller triangle which breaks it down into four parts. Each part has a number. And in one small triangle, the number is missing. The first triangle has numbers 3, 2, 11, and number 1 in the middle. The second triangle has numbers 7, 4, 53, and then number 5 in the middle. The third triangle has numbers 11, 6, 127, and number 5 in the middle. And then there is a fourth triangle, which has the missing number, but also has numbers 15, 8, and 7. Can you take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer? One tip for you is that you do not need to guess the number, but rather you need to calculate it. And you need to select the calculated number out of four different choices. Choice A, 225. Choice B, 232. Choice C, 233. And then last but not least, choice D, 240. Take a close look to see if you can solve this challenge. Are you ready or not? Regardless, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have guessed, to solve this challenge, you need to find the pattern. And the pattern is that if you add the middle number and the top number inside the small triangles, then put them into the bottom left corner of the triangle, and then square the bottom left corner number and add the top number. Seems a little complicated, and it is. The best way to understand it is to look at the example. Let's look at the first triangle. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 square equals 9. And 9 plus 2 equals 11. Armed with this information, let's find the missing number. First, let's add 8 plus 7, top and the middle numbers. 8 plus 7 equals 15. And you can confirm this calculation by looking at 15 in the bottom left corner of the triangle. 15 square equals 225. And then based on this information, to find the missing number, we need to add 8, which is the number in the top of the triangle, plus 255, which is the calculated number. So the final number will be 233. Now let me share with you some tips and tricks on how to better solve these types of challenges. You see that the triangles are of a different color. And colors here are only to confuse you. There is no other reasons the colors should be there, so you can completely ignore them. Another trick might be, typically when you look at these types of challenges, you limit your calculations to just adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers. Keep in mind that there is always a possibility of square numbers and then square root of the number. And it's good to remember squares of particular numbers, probably up to 20. This way you can manipulate them in your head without using the calculator. Do you have any other tips and tricks on how to better solve these types of challenges? Please make sure to share in comments so we can all learn. Here's an amazing question to test your math skills. You need to calculate the value by multiplying the number of coins in the cent clock by the number of dollar signs at the top and at the bottom. And calculations should be one of four possible choices. Choice A, 190. Choice B, 200. Choice C, 210, and choice D, 230. Take a close look, maybe do mental math to see if you can come up with the solution. The key here, though, is not to overthink it. To solve it correctly, we need to count the coins. Let's start by counting coins at the top. 
there should be seven coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There are eight coins at the bottom. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there are seven dollar signs at the top and seven dollar signs at the bottom. So the total calculation would be 15 coins multiplied by 14 dollar signs and the total would be 210. So the correct answer here is choice C, 210. Did you solve it on your own? Please make sure to share your experiences in comments. A lot of viewers on this channel ask me how to increase their IQ scores. Even though methods might be different from person to person, let me share with you three ways that help me to stay in shape. I love listening to classical music. I believe that this helps improve your analytical skills as well as spatial reasoning skills. Also, I like playing sports and I go to the gym to do vigorous exercises. I think this helps me to increase oxygen levels in the blood as well as to keep your brain more active. After a certain age, staying active helps you to increase your reactions as well as IQ. And last but not least, I like to stay hydrated. I drink a lot of green tea, Earl Grey tea, coffee, and vitamin water throughout the day to help me stay energized. You can use these tips to prepare specifically for the test or to change your daily habits and stay sharper day after day. Do you have tips of your own on how to keep your brain in shape? Please make sure to share and comment so we can all learn. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's a puzzling question which you might find difficult to solve. But the solution is really simple. You are presented with four scales and you need to calculate the missing number. First scale contains three pentagons on the left and number 90 on the right. Second scale contains one pentagon and two bagels on the left and number 50 on the right. Third scale contains two pentagons, one circle and one bagel on the left and number 90 on the right. And then the last scale contains one pentagon, one circle and two bagels on the left and then missing number on the right. You need to select the missing number out of four different choices. Choice A, 60. Choice B, 65. Choice C, 70. And then choice D, 75. Take a close look to see if you can do the calculations and come up with the right solution. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think the key to solve this challenge is to understand what is being asked. You see shapes on the left of the scale and the number on the right, which means that the combination of the shapes is equal to the number. To solve the problem, you need to go from scale to scale and calculate the shape's value. Let's start with the scale 1. It has three pentagons on the left and number 90 on the right, which means that each pentagon has a value of 30. Second scale contains one pentagon and then two bagels, and the combination of these shapes equals number 50. We already know the value of pentagon, which is 30. All we need to do is divide the remainder of the calculations 50 minus 30, which equals to 20, by 2, because there are two bagels, and calculate the value of bagel, which is 10. On the next scale, we have two pentagons, one circle, and one bagel, and the combination of the shapes equals to 90. Let's do the math. 30 plus 30, which is the value of two pentagons, plus 10 equals 70, which means that the circle equals 90 minus 70, which equals to 20. Now we know the values of all the shapes. Pentagon equals 30, bagel equals 10, and then circle equals 20. And we can calculate the missing number. 30 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 equals 70, which means the correct answer is choice C, 70. Did you come up with the same solution? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. Here's an amazing question to test your math skills. You need to determine how much money does clerk have. If you take a close look at the picture, you see that clerk is in the possession of dollar bills as well as the quarters. He is juggling dollar bills in the air and has quarters on the ground. Your answer will be one out of four different choices. Choice A, $12.25. Choice B, $16.25. Choice C, $18.25. 
And last but not least, choice D, $21.25. Please pause this video if necessary, do your counting, and post your answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. One of my favorite questions is where you need to calculate the missing value. You're presented with three equations, and in fourth equation, the result is missing. The first equation is 23 multiplied by blue parrot plus a red parrot equals 41. Second equation, 19 plus blue parrot plus blue parrot equals 31. Third equation is 10 multiplied by blue parrot plus red parrot equals 72. And last but not least expression is 26 plus red parrot multiplied by blue parrot equals missing value. You need to select missing value out of four possible choices. Choices A, 83. Choice B, 90. Choice C, 98. And choice D, 107. Take a close look to see if you can calculate the answer. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. For simplicity, let's create variables. We will use B for blue parrot and we will use R for red parrot. So the first step here is to create and solve an expression. And the easiest one to solve is the second expression with two blue parrots. 19 plus B plus B equals 31, which means that 2B equals 31 minus 19, which equals 12. Once we solve it, we see that B blue parrot equals 6. Knowing the value for blue parrot, we can solve first expression. 23 plus B plus R equals 41, which means that 23 plus 6 plus missing variable R equals 41. After the calculations, R equals 41 minus 29 equals 12. Technically, we don't even need a third expression because having first and second expression allows us to solve both variables. But let's use third expression to verify that our calculations are correct. 10 multiplied by blue parrot B plus red parrot R equals 10 multiplied by 6 plus 12. 10 multiplied by 6 equals 60. 60 plus 12 equals 72. Now it's time to calculate the missing number. 26 plus red parrot multiplied by blue parrot equals 26 plus 12 multiplied by 6 equals 26 plus 72 equals 98. So the correct answer is choice C, 98. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to solve similar problems on the test. I get a lot of questions on how assessment tests are used in the hiring process. I would like to highlight three important areas companies use assessment tests. They use them for hiring and employment decisions. For example, hiring manager or HR might choose to test the candidate before hiring them to ensure candidate is a good fit for the position. Second way to use it is grow talent inside the organization. For example, some companies use the test before making hiring decisions to promote the candidate. And last but not least, the third way to use it is to determine levels of motivation. For example, if your company is looking to implement a new system or technology, it might be helpful to assess people on their interests and motivation related to this technology. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's one of my favorite questions, which requires you to use your critical skills and imagination. You need to find the missing number, and you're presented with three different expression. First expression is 13 multiplied by 13 equals 16. Second expression is 15 multiplied by 15 equals 36. And last expression, the one that's missing the number, is 17 multiplied by 17 equals missing number. You have four different choices to select from. Choice A, 56. Choice B, 64. Choice C, 72. And choice D, 81. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? 
The answer is so simple, so when you learn it, you'll be very surprised. Because the correct answer, choice B, 64, is calculated very easily. The pattern here is that instead of using traditional numbers and calculations, you need to add the digits and then multiply them to get to the correct solution. So let's look at the first expression. 13 multiplied by 13 equals 16. In reality, you need to sum up 1 plus 3, then multiply at another expression 1 plus 3, which would be 4 multiplied by 4, which would be equal 16. For second expression, you need to add in parentheses 1 plus 5, multiplied another expression in parentheses 1 plus 5, would be equal 6 multiplied by 6, which would be equals 36. To calculate final expression, you need to add 1 plus 7, which would be equal to 8, multiplied by another expression, 1 plus 7, which would be equal to 8 multiplied by 8, and it would be equal to choice B, 64. What was your experience solving this challenge? Please describe in comments. And if you're getting ready for the assessment test and need to get prepared, please make sure to check out the link to the ebook in the description of this video. As you might be well aware, the fastest way to learn and prepare for the test is by doing hands-on practice exercises. This is why we prepared practice materials for you to download so you can learn faster. All you need to do is to navigate to howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. You can type this link directly in your browser or follow the link in the description of this video. Thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage. And now, let's continue to get you ready for the test. Let's look at the very interesting question, which really makes you think. You're presented with three shapes, and the fourth shape is missing. You need to select the missing shape out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look at the pattern of shapes to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I'm not going to delay it, and I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you think differently, please make sure to share your answer in comments. As you might have guessed, the key is to define the pattern. And pattern consists of multiple elements. Pattern defining items are circles, triangle, and checks. They look like Latin symbol V. If you look closely at the outer circle, it's filled with triangles and those checks, which are moving clockwise. The inner circle also has smaller circles inside. Let's name our items in the original pattern as item 1, item 2, item 3, and then the missing item we will name item 4. This will help us to define the pattern. Number of circles increments by 1 in items 1 through 3. For example, item 1 has 2 circles, item 2 has 3 circles, 1, 2, and 3, and then item 3 has 4 circles, which means that item 4 should have five circles. Well, guess what? I was so excited to select the final answer just based on this finding, but then I noticed that all choices A, B, C, and D, they all have five small circles inside. Which leads us to conclusion that number of checks between triangles defines the final answer. If you look closely, number of checks alternates from 2 in item 1 to 3 in item 2, then back to 2 in item 3, and should probably be 3 in item number 4. This is why the correct answer is choice B, because it has 3 checks in between triangles. Let's look at why other choices are incorrect. Choice A only has 2 checks in between triangles. Choice C has a pattern of 9 checks in between 2 triangles at the top and at the bottom. And choice D has a pattern of 2 triangles going one after another in between the checks. So, this is my version, and if you have a better solution, please don't hesitate and make sure to share it in comments. And in case you're getting ready for the test, please make sure to check the links in the description of this video for additional resources. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to find what you're looking for and download the materials. 
we really thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.